Hey guys, Jim with Styrene Monkey. I uh, just want to do a little quick video of the completion of the 1923 Coca-Cola delivery truck uh, by AMT. Uh, this is not my normal standard build. I usually do hot rods or something like that, uh, muscle cars. But I thought this was a neat little kit. Picked it up at Hobby Lobby for about 15 bucks on the... I don't know why, but it was on the discontinued shelf. But I do, still do see them on the shelf, uh, on the non-discontinued shelf. So I don't know what that was about, but uh, got a good deal on it, uh, 14 bucks. And uh, went ahead and just did a little uh, fun build on this. Uh, let me get this out of the way so I can spin this around. Um, number one thing I wanted to do was cut the doors open on this car, or this delivery truck, I should say. Uh, I split it down the middle here. These pieces come as a whole. So what I did is just cut it here, and then I cut the sides. And the sides I glued onto each side of the wall, uh, the body of the vehicle. And then what I did after that was I put a piece of styrene here on the bottom and on top. Lined the doors up and put a piece of, what do you call it, brass rod, I guess you could say, or brass piece and. uh Drill the hole into the door and into the upper part of the uh, two pieces of styrene to get it lined up so I could uh, have the doors open and and uh, put some Coke bottles inside the truck showing that there's doing some deliveries. And if you're wondering about the Coke bottles, I got them off of eBay. I think they were like five for a buck. Somebody was selling them on there for. And uh, they came in these cool little uh, tubes. So it was about 10 bucks or 5 bucks for the whole setup here. Uh, not bad. That included free, free delivery. But I just wanted to do this cool little build. A uh, few things that I kind of messed up on here was that there is a uh, quote, uh, decal quote on the back here uh, behind this fender. I did not know the fender would cover it up. But uh, I can't get it off because I've clear coated it underneath uh, or I should say over the top of the decal, so I cannot move it. Uh, I just might put another one here. This is not for show. This is just for a quick, fun build I did. I thought it was a cool little truck. Um, one of the things that this truck it has a flaw on, or a few things, is that there's these big sink marks up front here, so you're going to have to fill those in. I had to fill them in twice and then primed it, and then it kept showing up. So I must have done it two or three times before the sink marks disappeared before I could paint over it. And this uh, roof here, now the kit, it shows that they want you to paint it red. I paint it black. I don't, that was my, my doings. But uh, it didn't want to really fit down on top of these sides. I had to put a piece of styrene inside to get the walls to stand up because they want to fall in on itself. And there's a seat in here that's inside. There's some tabs on either side of the wall for the seat. They did not want to, I guess, grip onto the little tabs. The walls, uh, the body side of the bodies kept falling in. So I put a piece of styrene at the top to hold them into place. But all in all, just a quick little fun build. And if you're wondering about the road here or the this sheet here, this is, uh, I saw something new at the hobby shop. And uh, I had to pick it up. It's by Tamiya. And this little tag was on this, it comes like in a paper or a plastic bag, I should say. And uh, it's just called Diorama Material uh, Sheet. And they have them in several different um, patterns. This brick one here, of course. And then they had cobblestone. And they had one with this gray with a fan brick pattern. Uh, it's a peel, and you could peel this off. It has a uh, sticky bottom to it. Or you could adhere it to a wood base or a plastic base and cut it to size. But I thought that was kind of cool. It's just something... Uh, I pick up paid about six bucks for this sheet. A little pricey, but well, you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but let me know what you think, guys. Uh, nice little quick build. Uh, like I said, you don't have to open the doors like I did, but you could do this as a weekend build. Uh, the only thing was the painting and the and the polishing of the paint, and that's about it. I hope you all having a good day, and you all take care. Bye. -bye.